Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, everybody, we are starting it off. The first fall recipe is coming your way today. So technically it doesn't fall until Wednesday, September 22nd here in the Northern Hemisphere, but we're a few days away. I figured you'd forgive me by giving you a little early fall present with this delicious stew with creamy polenta. Oh my goodness, you guys have to have to try this. It came out so good and we use soy curls in here which i absolutely love soy curls we'll talk about them more in the video and it's just really delicious it's really comforting it's really cozy it's one of those meals that is like just oh everything you just want like on a chilly night and when you want everything <clears throat> it's perfect so as always the full out recipe is on the blog link in the description box down below for that the ingredients are right out in the description box and there are also links for my cookbook podcast newsletter Anything I think you might eat for this recipe, the description box is where it's at. Go check out the description box. With all that being said, let's get into the recipe. So for this recipe, we are using soy curls, which are one of my favorite things. So this is what they look like. They're basically just dehydrated soy bits and you can get them online. I'll have them linked down below. I've never seen them in a store, but correct me if I'm wrong, but I only can see them on Amazon. So you're just gonna add water into a bowl, just enough to cover it and you set them to the side for 10 minutes and they'll rehydrate. In the meantime, let's work on our veggies. So I'm gonna chop up these little baby potatoes. Well, I'm just gonna slice them in half, but how cute are they? They're so little. You can, of course, use a regular sized potato, but just, I mean, come on. Is there anything cuter than these little potatoes? Not really, so we had to use them. Then we're going to chop up two carrots. These were kind of skinny, so you could use, you know, one large carrot if you want. So I'm just chopping off the bottom and the top, and then we're gonna peel it. And you can always save all these scraps, put it in like a scrap bag for a veggie broth. So just chopping that up into nice little circles, nothing too crazy. And then I'm just gonna set that aside in a bowl while we continue to work on our other ingredients for this. So next up, we are going to use our onion. So this is about like a third of a sweet onion. I love sweet onions, preferably even Vidalia onions if you can get them. So I am just chopping off the root and the bottom and then taking off that excess skin. And then we're just gonna give it a nice rough chop. This doesn't have to be small, this doesn't have to be bite-sized. It will cook down a lot when it's in the stew. So again, just cutting that up and then I'm popping that in another little container so we can put that to the side. The last thing we wanna prepare is some garlic. So this is how I like to use and you know open up my garlic so I cut off the top and the bottom and then I cut it in half and it kind of helps to get the skin off easier I have seen the hack where you like put it in the jar and you shake it and apparently it peels I don't know but I do this and it works out pretty well every time and again just like roughly chopping it there is no science to this it's a stew it's just supposed to be rustic and hearty so popping that into our little bowl and that's it our veggies are all prepped and done now these are the rehydrated soy curls so as you can see they've really expanded they've sucked up that water you're going to drain out the excess water so don't leave that in there but that's it that's all you have to do i love them because they're just so easy so let's put our stove on to a pretty low heat and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil about half a tablespoon into a medium-sized pot we're going to add in the chopped up onion the chopped up garlic and the soy curls and then we're going to just add some salt and pepper just a little bit just to start already seasoning up the dish you're going to let this saute for about five to seven minutes over that low heat stirring it occasionally until the onions and garlic start to become fragrant and the onions are slightly translucent you don't want anything to burn here so make sure it's not on a high heat at all then we're going to add in our carrots the potatoes followed up with some red wine vinegar and some balsamic vinegar i like to do this instead of adding red wine it still kind of adds a similar flavor flavor profile and then we're going to add in water not too much and then some of the better than bouillon and some tomato sauce and everything together is just going to give that really nice rich stewy flavor if you want to use red wine you definitely can but i just i feel like it's a waste to open up a bottle of red wine for just something this small and then we're going to add in two bay leaves make sure to take those out later on mix this up and then just lower the heat down you know keep it nice and low so we can let this simmer for about 30 minutes and just stir it you know occasionally just check on it make sure it's looking good and not bubbling too much it should just be bubbling slightly and i like to leave it covered and slightly vented so now let's talk about our polenta so this is polenta we're just going to measure out half a cup of the polenta it is basically just very finely ground up cornmeal and to cook polenta is so easy you're just going to put it in a small pot along with one cup of any non-dairy milk of choice just make sure unsweetened unflavored and one cup of water i'm also going to add in some vegan parmesan for a little something special in there give that a nice mix and you're just going to kind of just continuously stir this over a 
about a medium heat until it starts to bubble like it is now and you'll just see it thickens up. It's very, very simple to make and it takes only a few minutes. And then I'm also just gonna add in some salt and you can just see now how it's like really thickened up like that. It almost kind of looks like porridgey, grits-ish. Like that's kind of the consistency you're going for. And then I like to add in greens to my stew. So I'm just gonna add in a bunch of spinach. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Put that in there, let it wilt and look at this can we just like i mean come on come on is this not just like the epitome of fall and comfort food and coziness like oh like that everything has such good flavor in here and there's just that little bit of that juice at the bottom so you can just drizzle it on top like look at that look oh this was honestly this was so good like i'm so impressed with myself with this dish okay so let's plate this baby up so we're gonna add in the polenta and this is gonna make two servings so we're dividing the polenta into two gonna layer that in the bottom of a bowl and just spread that out that nice creamy goodness and then we're gonna scoop in our stew like look at that just I don't know, just the color, everything, the flavors. This was so good. Of course, we got to add some of the juice on top, of course. And then we're just gonna add a little black pepper and that is it. We are done. This is simple, this is cozy, this is delicious. You can add anything you like into this. You could do it with beans. You could, do, you know, cannellini beans would be great in here or even chickpeas. You can serve this over mashed cauliflower or mashed potatoes if you want. I mean, just, you know, it's very easy to customize. So do what you like with it, but I promise just I don't know, this was so good and I'm just like, oh, I can't wait. Like on these cold nights, easy dinner, delicious. I'm gonna be all about this. All right, everyone, and that was our delicious stew with creamy polenta. I really hope you try this out. And if you do, you already know, make sure to let me know how it goes. Leave a comment down below, put up a post, tag me on Instagram, leave a comment on the blog. I love to hear back. And if something didn't work out, let me know anyway. We could talk about it. We can figure it out. Still love to get feedback from you guys. If you like my videos, you already know, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Help channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next week with another video. Bye.